Are you struggling to pick out what is the best note-taking app for you for work or for school? In this video, we're going to talk about four really incredible note-taking apps, and we're going to talk about who are they best for. So with that, let's jump into the video. The first big note-taking app is Microsoft OneNote. And generally speaking, this is the all-arounder tool that everyone has access to and that nobody's really using. It has a lot of features. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife where there's a lot of features and a lot of accessibility. But unless you know what you're doing or how to use it, it becomes very, very unwieldy of a tool to use. The key features for Microsoft OneNote, the first one is cross-device syncing. So if you have something that you write on your phone and you write it in OneNote, it'll show up in your computer regardless of what the operating system is. You could be using Mac, you could be using Android, you could be using Windows, whatever, it'll show up across every single device. The second main feature is organizational tools. So it uses multi-tabs to keep track of what you're working on. You can create notebooks, sections, and pages to organize your information correctly. The third main feature is web clipping and OCR, which stands for optical character recognition. That is to say that you can clip something off the internet. Let's say you take a screenshot and it'll upload it into OneNote. It'll be able to detect the text. So let's say your professor is doing a presentation. You take a picture of the presentation, you upload it into OneNote. OneNote will be able to take that information off of the slide and you can copy and copy and use that information in OneNote however you want. And the fourth main feature that is actually kind of a, a game changer for me, not every, not every tool has this, is multimedia notes. You're able to include written notes, you're able to include videos, voice memos, whatever, in your actual app and have it all together in OneNote. What I love about OneNote and what makes it so simple to use, it mimics a physical notebook. So if you're used to taking handwritten notes and you have an actual piece of paper, OneNote will probably be the closest to that because it's kind of built to feel that way, especially if you're using a tablet and it offers a, a very familiar experience in my opinion. The second big note-taking app is Google Keep. Now this is super easy if you have, if you are really big into the Google ecosystem. Google Keep is the note specific version of what a Google Doc might be. So you could use Google Docs as your note taking, but Google Keep is meant to be more of the notes component. And it has cool features like speech to text conversion, which requires in some instances a third party app. You're able to speak into it and it'll jot down the information correctly in the notes. It has color coded labels. So if you are in different subjects or if you have different projects that you're working on, you're able to color code them so you know what tasks you're working on, what notes you have things that are associated with it. It has easy integration into the Google workspace. So if you use a lot of Google products, let's say you're using Gmail, you're using Google Docs, this is a nice little tool to build into it. And it has location-based reminders. So let's say that you have in your notes, you have something about needing to pick up groceries at this store and you set a reminder if you walk past that grocery store or if you get close to that grocery store, it'll say, don't forget to go pick up you know, milk at the store. To me is a little bit creepy. I don't necessarily know if I'd want that. A cool perk if you're into that kind of thing. Why I love Google Keep, it is very minimal. And it maybe it is too minimal for some people, but I prefer things that are a little more minimal minimalistic um, in their design. Plus it's fully integrated into Gmail or Google Calendar. So if you use those a lot for school or if you use those a lot for work, you're able to use Google Keep to integrate into those systems. <sighs> Number three is Evernote. And I have a soft place in my heart for Evernote because it is a legacy note-taking app that has been around forever, but it, it still feels just so fresh. I remember using this tool maybe 13, 14, 15 years ago when I was in school. It's just such a nice tool to keep everything and it is cross-platform, which is awesome. Cool features with Evernote is that it has searchability. If you have handwritten notes, if you have PDFs or if you have images, it's able to, if you type it in on the search bar, it'll able to pull that information wherever that is mentioned, whether it's a handwritten note or text or an image. Number two is that it has integrated web clippings. So if you're typing out a document or you are, let's say, writing a report for any reason, and you said, oh, I have this information that came from this part and this information that came from this part, you're able to capture that information and link it into Evernote so that you're able to say, you know, there's a 25% growth on this you know, GDP or whatever, that you can link to where that information came from and Evernote will keep it together when you are writing your report. Number three, there's a lot of formatting options. So whether you're looking to do tables or charts or things like that, 
it makes it a lot easier to structure your notes, especially if you're like me and you like using different formats to kind of get your points across when you're taking notes. Evernote has that ability. And of course, it auto syncs across devices. Why I love Evernote is it has a really generous free plan. And it's cool that if you need the certain advanced features for any reason, you can upgrade for a month, then downgrade when you're done with it. But it's cool to have the option to be able to use the free plan without feeling obligated to have to pay for anything. And it's just been around forever. And I think they've really mastered their craft when it comes to taking notes. And number four is Apple Notes. I know a lot of people sleep on Apple Notes. I am a huge Apple person. As you can see, I literally use Apple. I have to check my, I, have, I use Apple for everything. So I have Apple Notes and I use Apple Notes all the time. And this is probably best for people who are already in the Apple ecosystem. If you have an iPhone, if you have a Mac, if you have an iPad and you want them to be all collaboratively together, Apple Notes is a really good place to start. The main features with Apple Notes is that they sync across devices. Again, you have to buy a device to actually have Apple Notes. But once you've bought the device, it's free for you to use. It's free online. You can use it from a Windows computer if you want to, if you log into the browser version, but it syncs across devices. It also has handwriting and sketch abilities. There's a lot of information on the new Apple intelligence that's just come out that makes notes really impressive. So if you have, if you're writing out notes, it's able to actually search the OCR from those, but you can also sketch something and turn it into an image or find images that are relevant for that. And you can all do this within notes. And you can also integrate Apple notes into Apple Reminders, and other Apple apps that you can actually integrate into Notes. I think Apple's really working on making Apple Notes more, I would say more for students, but they're trying to make it a bigger, more productive tool, um, integrating a lot of Apple intelligence and just generally making it more accessible for people to use whether you're using an Apple Pencil or you're just taking notes regularly, there's a lot more functionality that's being added that I think makes it a really exciting contender if you're looking for different solutions for note taking. Okay, so now that I've thrown everything at you, let's actually dissect which app is best for you to use and which settings. And I know there's a ton of other apps. If you have other apps that you're using or the other apps that you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. But let's talk about what apps are best for you and what settings. If you're looking for fast and simple notes, I would say Google Keep is what you want to do. Simple, easy, not a lot of drama. If you're working across a lot of devices, I would say OneNote is the best approach. You are able to access it no matter what platform you're working across, and it gives you the robust information or context that you need to take enough notes on whatever device you're Are you heavily into the Apple ecosystem? To me, it's a no-brainer to use Apple Notes. And are you recording a massive amounts of data? Let's say you're working on a big project or you have a lot of classes that you're juggling. I would say Evernote is the way to go. Now, with any of these apps, it all comes down to your workflow and how you work best. Best. These four, I think, are really good starting places if you're interested. Let me know which ones that you choose below. And if you're also researching what project management tools that you are wanting to invest in, check out this video that I made. And with that, I will see you on the next one.